Hello, my name is Simon Seidel, and today I will be introducing you to a jazzist who, who deserves everlasting recognition and praise. His name is Marshall Warren Nuremberg, and he was a jazzist, biochemist, and loving husband who made significant strides in the understanding of genetic code, codons, and many more significant aspects of biology. Nuremberg was brought into this world on April 10, 1927 by Minora Blykowski and Harry Edward Nuremberg. He was born in New York City, born his mother and both of his mother and father were both his mother and father were Jewish. He was uh, his father was a shirtmaker. Early after developing rheumatic fever as a young boy, his family decided to move to Orlando and where he would spend his childhood and teenage years. He eventually got an interest in biology and got a bachelor's of science at the University of Florida and a master's of zoology at the same university. In 1957, Nuremberg earned his PhD in biochemistry from the University of Michigan. For his PhD, he studied the hexose uptake in tumor cells. He did this with his trusty advisor, James F. Hogg. Nuremberg Worth worked with many friends and colleagues. Some of these include fellow colleague J. Heinrich Mattei, who conducted the Nuremberg and Mattei experiment. Another fellow colleague was Phil Blatter, who conducted the Philip and Letter experiment. He also worked with his PhD advisor, James Hawk, with homeobox genes. N Nuremberg was married to Parola Zaltzman Nuremberg from 1961 until her death in 2001, and then was married to Myron N. Wiseman from 2005 until Nuremberg's death in 2010. He has four stepchildren, a sister named Joanne Nuremberg Geiger, and several nieces, and a nephew. During the 1950s, it was still widely unknown how RNA transferred information from DNA, or even if RNA was even involved with DNA at all, to DNA at all, genetic materials, or protein. With this uncertainty in the scientific world, Nuremberg became curious with RNA. Nuremberg worked with Mate to study nucleotides and RNA. They wanted to determine how RNA functioned without any natural processes blocking them, and they decided to do this by introducing synthetic RNA into E. coli bacterium. The synthetic strands of RNA that were added only consisted of uracil. When this was added to the bacteria, the amino acid phenol family was produced as a product. This led to the belief that RNA had the ability to determine the amino acid that was produced, and it also led them to discover the codon UUU as the main driving With the discovery of the first codon, scientists needed to know what other codons existed and needed to figure out which codons produced what certain amino acids. This led to the battle between the NIH and the that Nuremberg was a part of in the Nobel Laureate Sever Ochia at New York University Medical School. Eventually, Nuremberg was victorious. Nuremberg's rivalry was conducted with the Nuremberg and Letter experiment, which was the experiment they were competing against. And they did this by taking the synthetic RNA from his previous experiment and expanding it further using E. coli as his organism. They discovered, eventually deciphered 64 different codons. In this experiment, Nuremberg and Letter also discovered that codons were in triplet form by using the triple binding assay. They used this to determine what tRNA combinations were associated with certain amino acids. For this work, Nuremberg received the 1968 Nobel Prize in Psychology and Medicine. In 1967, Nuremberg began an interest in neuroblastomas. These are malignant tumors composed of developing neurons. Scientists were interested in them because they divide easily, and they can be used to study neural development of neurons. During this time of Nuremberg's sprouting interest, neuroblastomas were primarily studied and used to fight cancerous growth in cells. It was relatively easy for Nuremberg to study these neuroblastomas because they, he studied them the same way he studied protein syn synthesis. Nuremberg also decided to study the neural development of on tissue cultures, which is an innovative move at the time. Tissue cultures were new and innovative, and scientists were skeptical on using them at the time due to the lack of knowledge on them. Nuremberg worked on these tissue cultures with Dr. Philip Nelson, and this move to use tissue cultures was very well worth it. He was able to use these, the tissue culture to grow neurons from neuroblastomas in vitro, which made it extremely easy to gain knowledge on that topic, and it wasn't known at the time. Nuremberg's tissue cultures made a huge impact on aiding the discovery of more knowledge on childhood cancer, and his work made significant strides in the field of neural development. After his neuroblastoma research success, Nuremberg became interested in homeobox genes because this avenue blended in his experience in genetics and neurobiology, and also gave a potential for new discoveries to be made about biology and genetics. Homeobox genes influence the processes by which hereditary information is converted into physical characteristics during development. Homeobox genes were common in the common fruit fly. Um, this, a man named Yong Sung Kim became, began his postdoctoral work in Nuremberg's lab and he wanted permission to 
find more homeo box genes in the common tree of life, which Nuremberg suggested to do so. Kim eventually discovered four new homeo box genes associated with the fruit fly. Nuremberg stated that the important importance of that work was to provide an experimental system that could be used to define the relationship between specific genes and the physical development of an organism. Nuremberg has made monumental strides into the understanding of the genetic code, diseases, and biology in general. From cracking the genetic code and discovering codons, to cancer research and enhancing the understanding of horrible diseases, Nuremberg has left his mark on the scientific world and the world of genetics and biology. He has received countless accolades, some of which include the Nobel Prize due to, due to his extensive work and impact. Without Nuremberg, our understanding of genetics and biology would not have been as in-depth and detailed as it is today without Nuremberg's helping hand. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening. And, and this is my works cited in reference page. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you have a good rest of your day.